Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to learn about how to use timer inside Swift UI. We are also going to learn about observable object and observed object along with publisher variable. We have created a stopwatch app which lets user to start the timer, pause the timer, stop the timer as well as user can lap the timer also. This app uses very basic fundamentals of timer provided inside the Swift so that developer don't have too much for creating this type of app. To create this app, first create a Xcode project. Then inside the content view file, create a manager class which handles all the logic related to our stopwatch. Create a word called second elapsed and start with double of zero. Then create another variable timer which equals to timer class in the Swift. Then create a function called start. This will start a timer using timer class. Inside it, we set our timer to timer class dot schedule timer with time interval and repeat. Inside the timer, add the value of a second so this will repeat the scheduler for every one second and set the repeat to true. Then inside the closure, we increment our second elapse to one second every time. This timer always goes to 100, then add 1 second if you want the logic to go 60 second. You can add, do it inside the closure. Inside a content view, we are going to create a variable called as manager class and initializer our manager class. Then create a text which takes the string, add the format to show the double value up to two decimal place and then inside the argument to send our second elapsed text into it. Also create a button which starts a timer from the manager class. Inside the label, add system image from SF symbol library. Add some modifier, into it brings some beautiful designs. Add foreground color white. Add font to title. Add some padding. Add background color to blue. Add some corner radius to it and it will look like a circle. Here we can see every component in two device to see it single device we need to wrap it inside the vstack. Now start the preview. But you can see that when we start the timer, nothing has happened, although our timer has been started and working but we don't see update to the text. To get the update, we need to observe object inside a manager class variable.
and in a manager class we need to confirm to it observable object inside the variable second elapsed we need to set it to the published every time it changes it will fire update to the view here we can see that a stopwatch is working Let's create a NM mode which takes our three stages of stopwatch, running stopped and paused mode. Create another published variable mode which confirms to mode and initially set to stopped. In our start function, set the mode to running. Now create a stop function which invalidate our timer. Then we set the second elapse to zero. And our mode to stopped. Then inside the content view, we create a switch to a manager class modes. Inside our cases, we add stop and with animation closure, add our start button. Similarly, for the case of running, we create another button which have the action to stop our timer. Inside the label, we add the image to stop icon and have background color to red. Then for the case of paused, now we create our empty button. Now in the preview, we can see that the code is working fine. Let's now create another function pause. This will only invalidate our timer. And set out mode to pause. Inside the pause case, we only need to add the start button and stop button. Then inside the running case, we create another button which have our pause functionality, add the image to pause icon. And add background color to orange.
Now let's wrap our button to the edge tag. Now let's create a lab class which confirms to identifiable. Inside it, we create an ID which equals to UUID. Then create lab which confirms to double. Then create the initializer which takes the lab as double and set our structure lab to input lab. Let's now create a state which holds our lab timings. It confirms to array of lab class. And it equals to empty array. Then inside a view, we create a list which takes our lab timings array and layout lab from it. Then we set text for each lab and set the text to float. Inside lab button, now create a new lab, then add a elapsed timing inside it. Then append our new lab timing to lab timing array. And here we can see that a stopwatch is working. In our stop button action, we set our lap timing to empty array. Now finally, we wrap our VStack inside the navigation view. 
then add the navigation title. And here we can see that a final app looks just fine. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel and yes do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now I'll be signing off, we'll definitely see you all in the next video.